John tries to hit a target. The probability of success is 0.4. He keeps trying until he succeeds. What's the probability that he succeeds at the fourth try? We mark the probability of success as P. The probability of failure as Q. If P is 0.4, Q is 1 minus P, which is 0.6. If John succeeds at the fourth try, the first three times are all failures. Therefore, P4 is the cube of Q times P. This is 0.6 cubed times 0.4, which is 0.0864. What's the probability that he succeeds at the fifth try? If he succeeds at the fifth try, the first four times are all failures. So, P5 is Q to power 4 times P. Similarly, the probability that he succeeds at the sixth try. P6 is Q to power 5 times P. And the probability that he succeeds at the Rth try. PR is Q to power R minus 1 times P. The geometric distribution represents the number of trials until a success is achieved. If random variable x is geometric distribution, we write it as x tilde geo brackets p, where p is the probability of success. p capital x equals little x is 1 minus p to power x minus 1 times p. x can be 1, 2, 3, and so on. px equals x is the probability that success is achieved at the x time. So the first x minus 1 times are all failures. Therefore, the probability is 1 minus p to power x minus 1, times p. There are some conditions that geometric distribution has to meet. First, a trial has two mutually exclusive outcomes, success or failure. Their probability is add to 1. Second, trials are independent, so that we can multiply their probabilities together. Third, the probability of success p is unchanged across trials. If these three conditions are met, we can model a practical situation with the geometric distribution. Let's take a look at a practical situation and see if we can apply geometric distribution to it. There are 100 bottles, and all but one weigh the same. Bottles are taken out one by one to check. What's the probability that the fifth one is the bottle with a different weight? Each time we take out a bottle, it is either yes or no for the bottle with a different weight. So we may think we can use geometric distribution here. X is geo 0.01. And P5 is 0.99 to power 4, times 0.01. We know the three conditions for geometric distribution. First, a trial has two mutually exclusive outcomes, success or failure. This is met. Second, trials are independent. This is also met. Third, P remains unchanged across trials. Let's see if this is met. The probability that we choose the bottle with a different weight at the first try is 1 over 100. If the first one is not that bottle, we put it aside, and the total number becomes 99. So the probability that we choose the bottle with a different weight at the second try becomes 1 over 99. Similarly, the probability of choosing that bottle at the third try is 1 over 98. We can see that P changes across trials. Therefore, we cannot model this situation with geometric distribution. We know for geometric distribution, px equals x is, 1 minus p to power x minus 1, times p. x can be 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now let's calculate px greater than x. Since x is greater than x, the probability should be the sum of px plus 1, px plus 2, px plus 3, and etc. px plus 1 is 1 minus p to power x, times p. Px plus 2 is 1 minus p to power x plus 1, times p. So on and so forth. This is a sum to infinity.
this is a geometric progression GP. The first term, A, is 1 minus P to power X, times P. The common ratio, R, is 1 minus P. We know sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R. Substitute in the values, we get 1 minus P to power X, times P, over 1 minus 1 minus P. This is 1 minus P to power X. Therefore, for geometric distribution, Px greater than x, is 1 minus p to power x. Px less than or equal to x, is 1 minus 1 minus p to power x. Now let's calculate the expectation of geometric distribution. We know Ex is sigma xp. So it is p, plus 2 times 1 minus p times p plus 3 times 1 minus p squared times p, plus 4 times 1 minus p cubed times p, and so on. We multiply 1 minus p on both sides. The left side becomes 1 minus p times e x. The right side becomes 1 minus p times p, plus 2 times 1 minus p squared times p, plus 3 times 1 minus p cubed times p, and so on. Let's line up same terms and subtract these two. The left side is 1 minus 1 minus p, times e x. The right side becomes p, plus 1 minus p times p, 1 minus p squared times p, 1 minus p cubed times p, and so on. The right hand side is a gp. The first term, a, is p. The common ratio, r, is 1 minus p. Sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R. Therefore, we have P times the X equals P over 1 minus 1 minus P. This is 1. Therefore, the expectation of geometric distribution is 1 over P. For example, if the success rate is 50%, then on average, you will need two tries to succeed. One failure and one success. John keeps throwing a fair die until he gets a 6. What's the probability that he succeeds at the fourth try? This is a geometric distribution, and p is 1 over 6. So px equals 4 is 1 minus 1 over 6 cubed, times 1 over 6. It is 125 over 1296. What's the probability that he succeeds in less than 5 tries? px less than 5 is equal to px less than or equal to 4. Therefore, it is 1 minus 1 minus 1 over 6 to power 4. This is 671 over 1296. What's the expectation of x? ex is 1 over p. So it is 6. In this class, we learned. Geometric distribution represents the number of trials until a success is achieved. It is written as, x, tilde, geo, brackets, p. Conditions a geometric distribution needs to meet are. Each trial should have two exclusive outcomes. Trials are all independent of each other. The probability of success p remains unchanged. Px equals x, is 1 minus p to power x minus 1, times p. Px greater than x, is 1 minus p to power x. Px less than or equal to x, is 1 minus 1 minus p to power x. Expectation is 1 over p.